Hi, my name is Osborne. I'm from Puyallup, Washington. And one thing I'd like you to know about me, io parlo italiano. Ciao. Thanks for not, you know, throwing me under the bus. It won't happen again. That's it. That's all I get after having to pull a gun on you. Well, my apology does come with a set of steak knives, if that's what you want. No, I want answers. You're going to tell me everything. Start from the beginning. How did you know Alara's clothes were in a duffel bag under the bed? She told me. That girl. She didn't say a thing. I saw it. Tiny movements. Her eyes. The pulsating of her neck. Her fingernails. Things I might not have ever noticed were screaming. And the shot. I sent something. I don't know. I was lucky. So were you. Sense. How? I don't know. Everything was just a blur. Not good enough, Dylan. Your answers sound right, but they don't mean anything. Did you see the size of that guy? I mean, what else do you want from me? I'm, I'm lucky to be standing here. I, I was afraid. I was pissed. You know, things got mixed up, and next thing I know, you're there with a gun to my head. Now you're telling me you lost your shit so bad that you aren't fully aware of your actions? You, you're twisting my words. I'm good. No, Dylan, you're hiding something. You need to tell me now. Six months ago, I came home after an assignment to an empty house. My wife was gone. No sign of foul play. Every trace of her existence had left with her. No CDs, no IDs, no credit cards. It's like, it's like she had never existed. I checked every inch of this house. I spent every wakey moment trying to find her. Was she drugged? Had somebody taken her? Was she being held against her will? And you know what I found? Nothing. It's like she vanished in thin air. I started questioning everything. Even from myself. I mean, I was losing it. And to keep my sanity, I had to accept, finally, that she was gone to me. Or I'd be gone too, if I kept at it. And that's when Thompson called me and reinstated me.